Good evening, everybody. Can you all hear me in the back? Yeah, terrific, thank you. Um, I'd like to welcome you all tonight. My name is Susan McBeth. I'm the Director of Marketing and Events here at Warwick's. And um, this is a really important forum tonight. We're glad you all came out on a Friday night. We do appreciate that. Before we get started, I would like to remind everybody to turn off their cell phones and their pagers. Um, I also ask for your understanding with some of the space and tech challenges that we may have here tonight. We really felt the urgency of this discussion to hold it sooner rather than later, which limited our venue options. And so that's why Nancy Warwick was gracious enough to open the store tonight for the community and for our panelists. So we really appreciate that. Um, I just want to give you just a quick background on why we decided to do this forum. Obviously, it was it was um, instigated when uh, Bob Pincus was laid off with the Union Tribune after 25 years of service. Um, he's he's going to be sorely missed. He's a, he's a valuable and integral part of the community, and it's a devastating loss to the arts and culture community in San Diego. Um, we realized that the purpose of the forum was actually twofold. First of all, we wanted to know what is going to happen with our community newspaper. And so I invited Jeff Light, the new editor of the Union Tribune, and he graciously accepted to come out here tonight to educate us on what his plans are with respect to arts and culture in San Diego. And also to hear from us um, and to see the powerful voice that arts and culture does have here in San Diego. Second, we realize that this problem is bigger than just our local paper. And Richard is going to speak to that um, and put it in context for us in a little bit, so I won't address that now. But I felt it was important to have a productive dialogue on how we're going to ensure that arts and culture, and I do include books in that term, are supported in our community. Um, to accomplish this, I invited a, a panel of distinguished arts and culture leaders in the community, along with our brilliant moderator, Richard Barson, to help us lead such a discussion. Um, I just want to let you know uh, that we are videotaping the, the event. It will probably appear on YouTube. So if you have a warrant out for your arrest, <laughs> it's time to make a beeline to the door. Um, I also want to remind you that because it is vid being videotaped and you may see yourself or your neighbors or children may see you on YouTube, I ask that you be on your best street behavior. And as a reminder of that, you will notice that I wore my animal print and my tough leather tonight. So, if you get out of line, I'm going to have to bring out the animal in me and put you in line. Um, I'm going to go over the format with you really quickly. Richard Farson has graciously agreed to be our moderator. Richard is a psychologist, an author, and president and founder of the Western Behavioral Sciences Institute, a facility that's devoted to research and education toward the advancement of our society. Now, he heads the Center's Leadership Forum, it's a think tank composed of highly influential leaders like our panelists tonight. So you can see he really is a perfect choice to be our moderator. So how it's going to work is Richard's going to be up here and ask that each of our distinguished panelists um, speak one at a time over here at this other podium. And they're each going to be given a general uh, five minutes or so to uh, answer a particular question that we have posed to them. And we ask that they narrow it sort of in terms of Jeff's going to speak to that in terms of his plans for the Union Tribune. Hugh Davies is going to speak to it as it respect, with respect to the arts community. Sandy Dykstra is going to answer the question with respect to the book community. Angela Perone will speak with respect to broadcast journalism, and Bob will address as it respects in respect to print journalism. Each panelist will have just you know five or six minutes to address the question one at a time, uninterrupted. We're giving them the floor to do that. Then we're going to give them a second round so that they each have the opportunity to respond to the previous comments. And then after that, Richard will moderate a question and answer session. It's going to be comprised of a mix of pre-submitted questions from customers, some uh, specially formulated questions that we thought were important to address to our panel, and then a live audience Q&A so you guys will have a voice if you so choose. Um, our goal, out of respect for everybody's busy schedule, is to be done by 9. I know that's asking a lot, and we'll see if we can do that. I also am aware that this is an unconventional format tonight, and there are issues that are very sensitive and personal to all of us. Um, each of our panelists and moderator tonight is an invited guest, and we ask that you be respectful. And to remind you, just check out my animal skirt. Don't want to get tough. Um, I'm going to introduce each of the panelists in the order that they're speaking tonight. 
First of all, I'd like to welcome Jeff White. Jeff is the new vice president and editor of the San Diego Union Tribune. If you'd like to stand as I introduce you, please. Um, and uh, UT publisher Ed Moss, in a recent, like, recent interview, said that Jeff stood out for his energy, his multimedia innovation, his commitment to quality journalism, and his experience in print and online journalism. So welcome and thank you for being here, Jeff. <laughs> Hugh Davies is the director of the Museum of Contemporary Art San Diego. He's been so since 1983. His accomplishments and leadership roles are so numerous that I can't even begin to name them here. But let me, let me suffice it to say that he is an internationally recognized scholar in the field of contemporary and modern art. He received his A.B., summa cum laude, M.F.A., and Ph.D. from the Department of Art and Archaeology at Princeton. So thanks for being here, Hugh. And next we have Sandra Dykstra, the founder, owner, and president of the Sandra Dykstra Literary Agency in Del Mar, and agent to authors such as Maxine Hong Kingston, Lisa C., Amy Tan, just to name a few. She is consistently voted the top literary agent on the West Coast, and she's named as one of the top in the nation, but the top five in the nation, but I have to say that we believe she is the top in the nation, and we're pleased to have her here. And if there is ever an agent that you want behind you, this this is the lady. And in Christian Siriano's words, she is fierce. <laughs> so, <laughs> Angela Carone is the KPBS producer of Arts and Culture for the morning show These Days. She's the author of the Culture Lust blog. She's been covering arts and culture in print for 15 years. She's also an accomplished and published photographer. Welcome, Angela. And last but not least, I don't want to stand in your way, Bob, Robert Pincus, former San Diego Union Tribune art critic for 25 years, book editor and columnist since 19, 2008. He was previously at the LA Times as an art critic for four years. He earned an MA in American Studies, a combined PhD in English and Art History from USC. Are you coming to our Pete Carroll event? <laughs> but his, modest, his modest biography did not state but I will for him that he is a nationally renowned, not just a local treasure, and we're thrilled to have him here tonight. <laughs> Once again, I want to thank you all for coming tonight. We're looking forward to an educational and productive evening. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to our esteemed moderator, Richard Farson, who's going to make some opening remarks and go over the ground rules. So thank you again. Richard? I looked up the word moderator in the Webster, and it says the moderator is the ruler. Is that great? I've never been a ruler. I love the idea. Uh, of course, this is a terribly important meeting uh, because uh, we're dealing with things that are of uh, importance well beyond ourselves. And um, I hope that in this particular meeting we'll be able to develop some new knowledge and some new wisdom and some new ideas, maybe. And uh, I, I think it could be through an interesting and illuminating and energized civil dis discussion. Uh, as a moderator, I, I'm, I'd like to offer a, a 